Hey, it's day four of the 21 Days of Prayer Challenge. I'm Zach Zender, and thanks for being here. Today, the question we're tackling is, how can I grow in prayer? How can I grow in prayer? That, that's probably why you're here. It's like, you and I, we want to grow in prayer. And so we're going to tackle that today. It's day four, and so you can find all of the information about 21 Days of Prayer Challenge at prayingchallenge.com. There's a guide to print out to go along with it, Bible verses, and of course, the challenge and the prompt, prayer prompt for the day. So let me start with this Bible verse from Hebrews 4, verse 16. It says this. It says, Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Let's approach his throne. Let's pray with confidence. And it's like, ah, we like that verse, but I don't, I haven't always felt confident in my prayer. And I'm telling you this, like as a dude that's been a lifelong follower of Jesus and been a pastor for more than a decade. Uh, I think this hit ahead for me, it was a couple of years ago, actually during another season of 21 Days of Prayer where we had prayer services every night at our church and I really made it uh, important for me to show up. And, and so in the service, there was always like 15 minutes of time to just like connect and be quiet with the Lord. And, and, and you know what? I really struggled in that 15 minutes and I was down on myself. I'm like, why am I so distracted? Like, why can't I? call out to this God and why isn't my prayer life more robust and rich and like, ah, I'm not feeling it right now. It didn't inspire me or make me feel closer to God. And I walked away dejected and discouraged. I listened to the lies of the enemy that told me I was no good at this and that it's not working. And so why are you doing this? And, and, and I recognize those now as lies, but I also still want to grow. And, and I, I found the importance of just in, in, in this pursuit to develop a plan and just put the reps in. And so if you're not sure how to pray or you've come to a plateau in your prayer life, I want to encourage you today to not listen to the lies of the enemy. But, but as you're instilling a new habit, like new habits are not always easy to instill and there's difficulty and there's tension and that's okay. But the best way to learn and to grow in prayer is this, keep praying. If I can borrow an analogy from, you know, the weight room, I think as, as we lift and as we try to like track progress and, and benchmarks in, in the workouts, there are days if you're trying to gain weight or gain muscle or lose weight, I should say for most of us, for me at least, uh, if, if you're trying to do that, there are days that you may feel good and it may be rocking, but then day to day, most of the time, like you don't notice the difference. And sometimes you show up and it's not very inspiring. And, and the real win is just that you showed up and hopefully over a season of just showing up and just putting the reps in, like you can look back and measure your progress and see growth. And I think that's true in our prayer life too. If you want to become more effective in prayer, simply pray and put the reps in. You may not notice your growth day to day, but I'm hopeful that over these 21 days you would have seen growth and that these principles will carry over into other days because why just stop at 21 days? Come on, somebody. And so in the rest of this challenge, like I will give you some tips and show you how Jesus prayed, who, who better to learn from. We'll give you a few handles that I think will really help you. But, but even if when you're praying and you're not noticing immediate change or your heart or maybe your feelings aren't there, recognize that, that feelings, while they're, while they're real, they're not always true. Dallas Willard once said, feelings are good servants, but they are disastrous masters. I love that. So trust in God's promise and trust in the progress and, and the principles and the discipline of just putting in the reps. God doesn't care about how you come, just that you come. And I love it that even after I've failed for a while, Hebrews, that verse I read, 416 says, we can approach his throne room with grace and confidence. Wow. And so approach God confidently to keep, keep praying. And so here today is your challenge that I would love for you to complete. I want you to tell me what is one small thing that you can do daily that will help you grow in your prayer life. Identify one thing and hey, post that in the comments below. Our prayer today is I wanna pray you to pray for your church and the local churches in your area. And so let us know what church, uh, put those in the comments that we can pray for you with and, and, and let's do that. And so hear all these comments below. Let's continue to pray with one another. It's only day four and so we're just getting started. Invite some people. You can find everything at prayingchallenge.com and subscribe right now so you get the video to come tomorrow for day five. God bless you and put the reps in today.